Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Connor Terrio, and I'm a BIM technical consultant here at Gray Tech. In today's short Revit tip, we'll be looking at part one of a mini series called What to Have in an MEP Revit Template. Today, we'll be looking at the project browser and some suggestions, recommendations on how you should organize your project browser in an MEP template. As always, if you have any questions following the video, I will post a link to my LinkedIn account. Uh, you can reach out to me per, uh, personally um, with any questions or concerns about uh, the, the Revit tip today. Without further ado, let's jump into Revit and take a look at the project browser. Okay, here we are in our Revit interface here, We're about to open up and start a project. I'm gonna start from scratch here just to kind of detail how the project browser ideally should be set up. Uh, so we're gonna come here to the left-hand side of the menu. We're gonna to go to new models, new. I'm gonna start with a systems template, just a generic from Autodesk. And we're gonna click on, instead of creating a new project with this template, we're gonna create a project template with this, um, with this systems template from Autodesk. I'm gonna press okay, open this up. Now, in your project template, it's something that you set up uh, so that you can kind of have some things done for you right from the get-go. So one of those things is the project browser. We want to set up your project browser, organize your project browser under or, uh, browser organization um, to set you up for success. And one of the ways we're going to do that is, as you can see here in the project browser, right now it's being sorted by discipline. We're going to sort this by something called view classification or classification of whatever you want to call it, um, giving it an extra layer here in your project browser. So right now it's just being sorted by discipline and obviously we know that we can right click here, go to browser organization, I'm gonna drag this across for us. And we can sort different browser organizations here by views, sheets, schedules. Uh, and then we've got some options here, right? So we can go by phase, not on sheets, type of discipline. These are some of the generic browser organization settings um, that Autodesk provides for us. But we're going to come in, we're going to go to edit and create new here. Uh, before we do that, what, what is the view classification? So right now we can see that this is being sorted by discipline and we've got electrical, mechanical, plumbing. And then within that, we've got the sub-discipline and then the associated views with that sub-discipline. The view classification that we're going to introduce is going to allow us to kind of divide up our views uh, by generic overall um, classifications, things like coordination, analyze, um, project setup, and then two other classifications that we're going to call working and sheet. Um, and the sheet ready classification are all of the views that are ready to go and be placed onto a sheet. Those views, for the most part, are going to have your view templates set up for you. Uh, everything is going to be essentially ready to go as, as close as you can get um, to being ready to go to be placed onto a sheet. The working classification, if a view is placed under the working classification, those are views that you're going to be doing your modeling in. You're going to be doing all of your modeling, modeling duct piping, placing elements, placing mechanical equipment, all that kind of stuff is going to be done in your working views. Your sheet ready views, like I said, they're going to be pretty much all done for you, except that's where you're going to go through and you're going to add notes. You're going to add your annotations in your sheet ready views. No modeling will be done in your sheet ready views. So obviously the first task here is to somehow create that view classification, that extra parameter that our view that our project browser is going to be looking for. Now that is done using a project parameter. There are three types of parameters in Revit. There are your global, your project, and then your um, drawing a blank here, your shared parameters. Shared parameters are probably what you are most commonly uh, used to seeing. Now we're going to come up here, we're going to add a project parameter here. And they've got one in here called subdiscipline. We're going to create another one. Sorry, I'm not going to edit. We're going to come down here to a little star. We're going to go new. We're going to create another one called 
view classification. Type of parameter is going to be text. We're going to group it under, let's group it under other. Okay, project parameters allow us to create parameters and assign them to different categories. So on the right hand side here, we're going to assign this to views. We want to be able to access this within our views. When we create a new view, we want to give it a new view classification. So scroll down, select on views, and then press OK. View classification. Now our project browser hasn't changed at all. We haven't created the browser organization just yet. All we've done is create that property that's going to show up in our properties menu for our views. So we're going to come here into our project browser. We're going to right click, go to browser organization. We're going to create a new one under views, drag this one across. We're going to call it um, view. We're just call it template. Filtering, we're not going to filter anything. We want to see all of our views. Sorting and grouping. Now, this is where we get into the structure of our project browser. What do we want it to search for first? The project browser is first going to search for view classification. Now, what they've got here is they've got discipline next. We've got electrical, mechanical, and plumbing. So we're going to sort by discipline next. Then we've got a subdiscipline, right? So we've got a lot of different subdisciplines within MEP. That's why we kind of break it up this way. We're going to go here, we're going to go by subdiscipline. And then lastly is going to be, uh, if I can find it here in the list, it's going to be family. Now press OK, check that off, and OK. And we can see now we've got, well, now it just shows all of our views under the three question marks. All of our views under the three question marks that tells us that these views do not meet that criteria in the project browser organization so when I now open up this mechanical for example there's my my discipline there's my sub discipline and there's my family I'm gonna open up on these floor plans and I'm gonna make sure that I give it all of those criteria view classification I'm gonna give it um, just call this one sheet. We'll put this view under the sheet, sheet ready classification. Next one, let's put this one under working just so we can go through create this structure. Or working. Uh, lighting, we'll expand lighting. Maybe we'll go lighting, we'll put that under what are some other view classifications we'd like to create? Uh, we should have one for project setup. Now project setup views, these are gonna be views that, um, tasks that you would need when, as soon as you first start a project. If you're using reference planes to place your air terminals or your families at the ceiling level, um, that would be done in your project setup view. So project setup views, you're gonna have maybe your four elevations, your four main elevations, a couple floor plans, view creation. You might wanna create your views in your project setup views as well. Any sections, things like that. So this is one way to do it, is have a, a view classification for project setup. Your working views, your sheet views. What else is a, a view classification we might need uh, coordination, any coordination type views that you create. Um, you might want to view classification for coordination. So we're going to go, maybe we'll, we'll use this one, power as a coordination. I'm just simply creating the view classifications here. I'm not too concerned about what views within that right now. Um, We'll go through that in a separate video, but I just want to show you how we're getting these view classifications in here. Um, view classification sheet, we'll minimize that. We'll go to plumbing, take a look at the plumbing floor plan. And then the last view classification here that I would recommend adding is uh, analysis. So if you're doing any um, 
systems analysis in your projects, electrical analysis, some of the newer features from 2022 they introduced. Um, you might have a series of analysis views or views that you use when you create um, your systems analysis. So we're going to add a view classification for analysis or analyze. Now let me just minimize all this and I'll show you. This is kind of what we're looking for in our project browser. So view classification is what it's looking for first. So we've got analyze coordination, sheet ready views working, and then project setup. For the most part, I think that's all you'll need. And then within that, Remember, it's being broken up by discipline, subdiscipline, and then family. So you might have uh, multiple different subdisciplines, right? So let me take a look at this floor plan, for example. We could go into this floor plan, we could duplicate this, and we could give it um, a subdiscipline, a different subdiscipline. Maybe we've got. heating and cooling, or, well, we'll call it uh, ventilation, I guess. Okay, so this is how you can add a view classification to your project browser. Again, we'll go through in a separate video how to really build this project browser out. We're going to do so by jumping into view templates. All your view templates are going to be connected to this project browser. You're not going to have to go through under each view that you create and make sure all four of these are set, right? We can quickly just set that up into a view template, apply that view template, and then that will locate the view in the correct location in your project browser. So for right now, step one of this MEP mini series template creation is going to be uh, adding our view classification here. If you guys have any questions on how this was done or how you can implement this into your template, don't hesitate to reach out to me on LinkedIn uh, and I don't mind connecting with you. Other than that, it was a pleasure. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.